And I that's cool that you say that they are friends and all that because I heard off off mic people were like, let's go vote players. So yeah, I bet yeah. they're from the same friend group and all that. Yeah, all right, they, just like you said. They know each other, yeah. Fox versus Pichu, just and we're like going to go predicted. right to Pokemon Stadium 2, Starter Stadium. No surprise at all. Most people like to start on this stage, uh, considered to be one of the, like, the greater neutrals. I would argue that it depends on the stage, and if you lose on this stage, you should just not go back to the stage. But game one, not, not a bad choice. Here we go, and we're feeling it out right now, but it looks like Fox is in the percentage advantage right now, putting Pichu at 71% already, and that's kill percent for Pichu. Yeah, for sure. And the up air right here, if, especially if he can get it uh, closer to that top blast zone, with PS2 having a lower uh, ceiling, he's going to get an earlier stock. 105% here on Xenos. Back at the ledge. Gets the Thunder Jolt, but doesn't land with that grab. Instead, uh, turns around with a forward air. A bit of a misplay there from Xenos. He's going to pay for it. Let's see here. And he's going out for a dash attack, throwing Pichu right into the air. It's such a great place to be, but Pichu's able to reverse that advantage. Wow! Ooh. And he's able to throw at that up air. Yeah. So strong. Exia closing out that first stock. And he's only at 71%, so he's doing a really good job. Uh, Xenos intercepting that side B with the up air. And he's got the down tilt. Ooh. Great use of the reflect. Absolutely. Uh, really smart stuff there from Exia. That reflect is actually uh, such a good tool now in this game. I mean, not only does it reflect as it always has, but it, it works as a bit of a shine spot. You can actually edge guard with it as well. Here we uh, go. And Pichu being so patient standing on the sideline because he wants to throw out that toe. I saw him use it twice. So here we go. Oh, and the bear is able to finish off his stock and putting them both at two stocks here. Yeah, the offstage bear, really good edge guarding tool for uh, Pichu, Xenos. Evening out the stock count, but still, he's sitting at hyper death percent right now. Pichu shouldn't be living until 120. And yet, I see it happen a lot. You know, players like Void and, oh my god. But As you say it. Exia with the turnaround back air right there. Uh, making sure that Xenos does not get any extra damage on his uh, second stock. Here we go with the up tilt ladders. That's such a great way for Pichu to start off his combo there. Really sets it up, but we have Exia here waiting for a right moment. We have both players just dashing around, trying to get an opening there, and then he was able to open it up with a grab. Really clever, because he saw him use the reflector last time, but Pichu threw down that thunder, waiting a little bit. Yeah, I really can like the way Exia is playing. He's kind of spacing his hitboxes around um, Xenos' potential threat bubbles, and he uh, is kind of just whiff punishing. He's waiting for Xenos to throw out an option. While um, Pichu does have incredibly fast frame data, it's not like totally unpunishable. If anything, he, he's playing two moves ahead. He's waiting for the one move and then the move after to punish that one. You're so right, Edmund, honestly. I, ooh, really great air, air dodge out of that thunder. He saw that one coming. Ooh, he tries to go for it all with that down air, and he's going to get the re-grab Exia punishing it with the down smash. Really easy stuff right there, and a clean two stock for game number one. Let's see what Xenos is going to do. Will he switch to the Inkling, or will he stick it out with the Pichu? I think he can stick it out with the Pichu. Uh, he just has to play a little bit more, uh, a little bit better neutral, and uh, just not overcommit as much. But it, it's it's hard. I mean, Fox is also a character who has incredible frame data, so he can definitely contest in that. Uh, Rushdown zone and and they're both known as glass cannons throughout throughout Smash. Oh yeah, definitely. This well, is like Pichu one of the fastest game. moving matches yeah, because of that. Sure. It's a really me melee esque uh, matchup in that regard. Is exactly very true here. And so wow, oh, not even like 20 oh seconds into the match, he's at 82 percent. You know, Fox really puts out that damage output. Oh, and this is loser side. I wasn't aware that we were playing loser side matches right now, but this is uh, Xenos' potential game or uh, tournament set oh my god see I, I like that um, Xenos is going for these offstage plays because even though he hasn't yet to find that those downers those downers are gonna kill Fox at extremely early percent so no matter what oh my god the up tilt up airs into the uh, drag down thunder and he's gonna find that first stock so forget everything that I was saying but I mean oh. Wow. This is too fast. This matchup <laughs> is too fast. We can't talk you quick can't, enough. You can't talk about this matchup. 
Let's just, we'll see the play by play. All right, up tilt, up tilt, fair. There we go. First combo, and we're putting him out at 63. You got to be quick with these two. Woo. Yeah, oh. absolutely. But I mean, just to finish off my thought, I mean, it, it doesn't matter if uh, Xenos is going to play from behind because as long as he can put Fox off stage and he can put Exia off stage uh, and force him to recover low, he can threaten with that down air. That up B uh, does have a lot of startup and it's really easy to intercept. So if he can recreate that situation over and over again, even if he was, uh, you know, at 120% with Exia only at 30%, if he got that situation, he gets the down air. It's now he's up, and so it's not looking like he totally needs that right now. Exia mounting the aggression, getting that upper nearly killing the back air by the ledge. Will, though, Xenos not going to put up a shield, and he's dropping down to his last life in the tournament. All right, Piju trying to go in with the neutral. It's such a great get off me option here. He just needs to dink Exia here with the 126% there, and he did with the toe. Forward Ooh. tilt, yeah, and next to uh, Zeno's throwing out the taunt. I mean, he's still in a good position to bring this right back. 33%, there's nothing that Pichu can't make up for. Spacing carefully, Exia opening him with a dash attack. The down tilt into back here, I like that, the quick, uh, the attack canceling coming through for him. Excellent neutral air, catching the jump from the ledge. I noticed that right now Xenos is trying to throw out moves, um, not a lot of them being thunder moves. You see him being like up tilts and things like that because he doesn't want to add any more percent than he already got. Yeah, this is near up smash territory for Fox. If he's able to find that landing neutral air, he's going to be able to connect with the up smash. He may just be able to get it raw if he gets a read, but the jump from the ledge, he's going to get with the back air and he's going to close it out with a 2-0. 2-0, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. Oh, literally actually every match. There actually has not been a game three. There has not. All right, usually by this 